And so it perhaps comes as no surprise to find in the parish records of his burial here in Röcken that the church authorities have written beside his name the words, a known antichrist. Although his life was hard, we shouldn't think that Nietzsche was miserable all of the time. On the contrary, he often talked about fulfillment, particularly when he was here in the mountains. But when he does talk about fulfillment, he's thinking of something richer than the sort of cosy well-being we might imagine. He writes sarcastically about people who are addicted to the religion of comfortableness. He calls them small, mean people, hiding in forests like shy deer. But those of us who dare to climb up above the tree line will see the views and breathe the air. It's then that we'll understand the benefits of abandoning comfort for true fulfillment. As Nietzsche famously said, that which does not kill me makes me stronger. Like every philosopher in this series, Nietzsche was interested in making people happy. However, unlike every other philosopher in this series, he believed that extremes of pain were a vital component in reaching the kind of happiness he had in mind. Not everything which makes us suffer is necessarily bad for us. Not everything which makes us feel good is necessarily actually good for us. To regard extremes of suffering as an evil, as something to be abolished, wrote Friedrich Nietzsche, is a supreme idiocy.